Hey, it's me, Makeup Girl 1234100. Sorry, I've been MIA, but, um, missing in action. But, um, I've been, like, really busy. And the whole YouTube thing was kind of boring me. So, um, I'm trying to come back into it. So I felt kind of bad because I just got out of the shower. And I'm on spring break, summer break, I mean. So I'm kind of, like, not trying at all. Because I'm at home all day. Sorry. Couldn't make you boring. Um, but I'm going to do an another makeup tutorial because I have not done one in a long time. I've just been doing hauls and... Yeah, so, um, this is not going to be a face one, but I'm going to tell you what I would be using in my face, on my face, to do this look. Um, first thing is my e.l.f. Toning Correcting Concealer. It looks like that. And it's just a doe foot applicator. So. Then I would be using my, um, Selected Sheer MAC Pressed powder in NW35. So, this looks like that. And then I'd be using my LA Colors blush in Natural. Now the br the br brushes to be applying my um my um powder would be this one. It's from Forever 21 and I absolutely adore this brush. Sorry, I'm trying to get something. I absolutely adore this brush, and it's really, really pretty, I mean, really, really good, and, um, it's, like, really dense and fluffy, so it's really good for applying, um, my MAC finish, and then I also use it to use my blush, just this blush, though, and then to put the concealer on to rub it in, I use, just use one of these little things, so, that would be my face, I never pull anything out before I do a video, I'm retarded, okay, so, to prime my eyes, I get the Hopefully the lighting is okay, I doubt it is, because my thing sucks. But, um, yeah. Um, the first thing I'm going to be using is my e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's kind of going away, so, yeah. You should doe foot applicator. You should put uh, that on both of your eyes and rub it in. I like to bring it down, too, because, I don't know, it makes your eyeliner last, I guess. So next I take my, um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And you cover your whole lid on it with this. I heard this thing is like really, really popular nowadays. So, yeah. Just go like that. It just creates like a nice background for the eyeshadows that you're going to put on soon. Sorry, I have to set up my makeup and everything. Sorry, bye bye. I'm never prepared when I do a video. Okay. So. The first thing you're going to take is, I'm using my, my, um, e.l.f. flat top brush, that's a dollar line or whatever, and I'm using, taking this Wet n Wild single eyeshadow, and it is in, I don't even know how to say that, but, um, yeah, and you just take it and you're going to pat it on. So this kind of blends in with the with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I gotta do the other side. And I don't know how to do any of that editing stuff, so I'm sorry Like if it, my videos are a lot longer than other people's, but I don't know how to do any of that stuff, so. Oh well. So the next thing you're gonna take is, I don't know where this eyeshadow came from, I got it for Christmas in my stocking, but it's just like a really pretty purpley pink color, and it has a lot of gold um, reflex in it and sparkles. And it's in mood. Okay, so I'm gonna take my. Sorry, I'm like cleaning up my brushes too. I'm gonna clean my brushes after this. Um, it's I'm gonna take my um Eco Tools brush in blend in the blend one. And I like to put this in the crease, like where your like the whole part in your eye socket thing. Let's put it there. And it just makes it like really pretty and dense, I feel. Okay. So, it's pretty much done on that part. Next, I'm going to be taking this very, very dark, dark brown. Very, very, very dark, dark black. And it's very, very pigmented. It's from CoverGirl. There's not a name on it because I ripped it off. So, um. It's just a black eyeshadow, but it's like really, really dark. 
And then I like to take this and put it in my outer V. And then I like to take um my eco my um who's my choice? My um coastal scents fluffy crease brush and I like to blend it out. Sorry, I need my mirror now. Okay, and then I like to take the rest of the color and put it on the other eye. And then if there's any left over, I put it in the crease. Okay, so it just adds very, very, like, um, well, it's not light because it's black, but it's, like, very subtle. So, you can't see it on my computer. But I kind of think you guys see where I'm going with it. Um, I'm not going to apply my liquid eyeliner. I'm using liquid eyeliner now, but I'm not that great at it, and it takes me a long time to, like, get it perfect and everything. So, um, I would just be using, like, a thin line, and it's, I'm using my liquid eyeliner from Alme. It's kind of like beginner liquid eyeliner. Like the little pencil thing. Yeah. Um, but I just started getting into liquid eyeliner. So, that was pretty much it on, like, the eye color. It's, like, really simple. Um, yeah. Alright, so next is mascara. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyelash curler, and I'm going to use... Yeah, these two. Um, hold on, I'm going to curl my eyelashes real quick, and I'll show you what I'm using for mascara. So I'm going to take my Mega Protein Mascara from One Wild and my Elmay Coat Dial-Up. And I feel like these two together make it my eyelashes like really cool and dense. Okay, so first I'm taking the Elmay, I mean the uh, Wet n Wild. Okay, so that one, like, it makes them, like, really long. And then the, um, Alme One Coat Dial-Up, I feel like it makes them more dense. And I, ha I keep it on, um, three. And this one, it kind of, like, just sets, separates them and makes them nice and, like, dense and long. I hate when I do that. All right, well, I'm going to take that with off with makeup remover, but, um, yeah. So, they're very lovable. Love my lovable lashes. All right, so, that's pretty much it on the mascara. Next is eyeliner, and I just use the same one that I used for the black crease color. I use this for my eyeliner. I'm going to take my Eco Tools eyeliner brush. This thing was at four dollars at Walmart, I believe. So it's pretty cheap, and it's really good too. I don't put it on my waterline; I put it below. So every time I put my eyelid on, I always have to smile. I don't know why it's weird, but um, I just do it to the other side, which I'm gonna do in a second after the video is over. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then for lips, I like to use my EOS. No. This one, I use Nivea. My Nivea, um, a kiss of smoothness first. The blue one. I just like to use a little bit of that first. I don't know. I'm going to use my EOS. And this is a fruit crunch one. Then I take my, um, Sally Hansen Comfort Shine Lip Glaze in Fresh Mixed Berry. It's like one of those cute little jars. I got it from like Dollar Star or something like that. I know it's stupid to put lip gloss before lipstick, but I like the way it feels. Um, and it looks. So I just feel like it looks better on me. I don't know about anyone else, but yeah. I'm going to be taking my Clinique lipstick in Rough or Rosa Rosa, sorry. You can't see it, because, like, 
collector. Um, it's just a really subtle pink color. You don't really have to use any tissues to like remove any off of it to get the perfect color. I feel like this is like just perfect. So this is kind of like the finished look. I didn't do the mascara or anything on this eye or eyeliner. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm trying to remember how, if I do it, did anything on this. But this is like my favorite look to do nowadays. So. Yeah. And all of like my makeup is pretty much drugstore. Except for I have like three MAC things. So, if you guys should rate, comment, and subscribe if you like Dollar General and the cheap stuff. I think. But I absolutely love MAC, but I can't afford it. So, yeah. That was, like, really random. I'm really sorry. So, this video is kind of long now. Oh, well. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.